Welcome to Streaming Deluxe, my name is Mr. Orange and welcome to a new video. So it's weekend time my friends, weekend on Steam and I have to admit at this yeah, first week of June weekend we really really have some amazing sales and offers on Steam. So first of all you see here Command and Conquer, the remastered collection edition is now available. Then you see we have a Playway uh, a Playway sale, then we have the weekend sale on Resident Evil 3, then we have a Wired Production Publisher sale, then we have uh, a free weekend for PUBG player unknowns Battleground, I mean how amazing is this my friends, then you have a weekend deal on PC Building Simulator, and we have a sale on Chucklefish Publisher, so a publisher sale on Chucklefish, also pretty amazing. And then you get even Celeste, so some, or some specific games you get a little bit cheaper. Oh my god, it's really amazing, my friends, really amazing. And then we had also yesterday, I think it's not uh, on anymore. Where, where was it? I'm clicking here. So no, it's not on anymore. We had the, the announcement that a lot of old electronic arts were coming to Steam. For example, for example, Need for Speed Heat. Oh, yeah, and then the day before yesterday, we had Sea of Thieves coming out. Or oh, it was yesterday. Doesn't matter. So very positive now on Steam. It's amazing. So Mirror's Edge Catalyst. So that's Mirror's Edge 2. Uh, Crisis 3, Dragon Age, Inquisition, they are all now on Steam and that's pretty cool because they have been <laughs> Origin, exclusive Origin, that's the launcher for Electronics Arts as far as, well, as, as all of you know, of course. Yeah, one, one little bemol to the Electronic Arts game uh, games, I'm saying this now immediately, the prices are even with the sales, so even with the reductions, for example, for Crisis 3, 67%, which is sound, or which sounds very good, uh, they are still a bit pricey, still a bit costly, so I would say if you don't need to have them on Steam, if you don't care where you're on which platform you have, you might you might uh, look to, to purchase them on Origin or get a cheap key for the game on Origin. So it's not necessarily important that you get, for example, Crisis 3 now here on Steam. Uh, if I'm checking this now here, you anyways, you're going to need a, a third party DRM. So Electronic Arts Online activation and you're going to need the Origin client uh, anyway. So uh, it's not it's like playing it it's like playing it on, on on origin anyway so it's the typical way how uh, steam is having a, a third party launchers incorporated so that's maybe important to say and as well we don't see here any achievements or any other interesting steam um, yeah steam steam uh, products or let's say uh, specific steam events for this game so it's not necessary that you get it on steam so coming to steam members get exclusive trails great games and more so origin x oh electronic arts access is also coming on steam okay this is actually cool so play the best of electronic arts stat now so and then we're coming directly to the command conquer we have the fan favorites and here you see the different games so plants and zombies battle of neighbor will dragon h2 inquisition need for speed need for speed the 2020 version so now for 10 years okay that's actually cool maybe i'll buy this then we have the rivals we have burnout paradise and we have unravel ravel ravel unravel yeah Sorry guys, I'm not a native speaker. We have Unravel 2 as well, Sea of Solitude. We have Fae, uh, Crisis 2 on the cover. Yeah, you can see even, even Medal of Honor Airborne for 250, pretty good price. Or Jade of Empire also now for 3 euros 74, also an interesting price. So coming soon to Steam, uh, Electronic Art Access. So that's a very good news. So you're going to be able to use the access pass on Steam. That's cool. 
Okay, now let's click into Command and Conquer Remastered Collection. So 20 euros came out today. Very positive rated already. So this is definitely very cool. So I love this game. It was one of my favorite games uh, back in the days. I was playing it on the PlayStation a lot with uh, my best friend back in the day. So I'm very much looking forward to play this game. 20 euros is for me personally a little bit too pricey at the moment but I would say <laughs> I feel old yeah we all feel old if you remember this game so I'm waiting for a sale on this so they don't get me now with this price just saying <laughs> all right let's go back let's go back my friends ah here it is so we have the play way play way uh, sale Though that's a sale with car mechanic simulator, house flipper, drug dealer, thief simulator. Oh my god, if I'm saying all those words, my video gets demonetized. So, little disclaimer, those are all games, so names of games. So, it has nothing to do with what I'm doing. So, obviously, ultimate fishing, 80 or 60% down. That's that. I'm very interested in this game. The beast inside. Then we have. Uh, 911 operator so they call it 112 so 1112 available 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 now okay so we have occupy mars so so you know all of this game so from playbase those games are they are a bit specific so some some people really love them and some people uh I'm taking uh, actually really far away from them. So personally, I have to say I don't really own a lot of those games. The Beast Inside is pretty good. I got it for review purposes for free. So, but that's that's it. I'm looking forward to Mr. Pepper, but uh, the news are not very uh, promising. People say that this game might never come out. I look forward to Occupy Mars, the game. Uh, save the forest looks also funny so that's some um, uh, you have to clean the forest and then I'm also looking forward to hell Arch architect so uh, also a thing uh, I would say an interesting game all right yeah play unknowns battleground play it for free until the 8th of June or you can purchase this for 15 years so nothing more to say about this then we have the wired production publisher sale those who remain 10% down delivers the moon great game close to the sun also a great game so I can recommend those two games definitely those who remain I haven't played yet so I cannot really or I don't have an opinion about this but delivers the moon I own and close to the sun I own myself too so two games I can recommend uh, Crip is also a fun game for 750 definitely worth a look and what else do we have super dungeon brothers dubstep soundtrack you never heard about this ah the fat con here a new game coming this looks very ah oh, this looks very good i like this one then we have martha martha is dead is a dramatic psychological thriller of gloomy and dreamlike tones a mix of history superstition and psychological distress hmm? uh, vici uh, vici in vector well, I mean, that's for fans of, uh, of this uh, former very uh, popular DJ who died, I think, two years ago. Did he kill himself? Possible. I don't really remember. It's not important anyways. Then we have a deal with 34% on Resident Evil 3. I mean, I was uh, uh, more than one time telling you that... I was more than one time telling you that Resident Evil 3 is going to be cheaper. So I'm expecting a price around 10 years. That's then uh, the moment that I'm going to purchase it. 40 years is for me personally still a little bit too pricey. So give it like, like, yeah, give it like three, four months and then you can get it for 10, 15 years maybe on CD keys. If you don't know CD keys, you can find a video about CD keys in my on my channel then we have yeah pc building simulator so if you want to try the, some sick uh, some sick builds for your pc and you you don't have the pocket money to buy those graphic cards so this game might be for you and then yeah that's it so and then we come to the last uh, publisher sale it's chucklefish so ninth anniversary sale 
pretty cool, I have to say, because I like Chucklefish games a lot. So I think they are definitely very cool indie pixel art games. We have a 50% Starbound sale for 7 euros, 7 dollars. We have a War Groove sale now, which also is actually an interesting indie turn based strategy game 50% down as well haven't played it yet but looks looks kind of good but i'm not a i'm not a really a indie uh, or oh, no in a lot of indie games sorry but i'm not really a tactical based uh, gamer then we have another rpg uh, pixel graphics pathway that i got for review purposes i kind of like this i think i also made a video about this so check out my video and then we have Time Spinner, which is a Metroidvania indie action game. And I have to admit that, that this game, I'm really, really close to, to buying this, to purchasing this. So it came out the 25th of September 2018. Very good ratings. So it's still 12 euros, 40% down. But for six, seven years, I would purchase it directly. Still a bit pricey. And then we have um, Emost Eastward and Starmancer for all of those three games you find videos on my channel uh, yeah all of three are of course very interesting so I'm looking forward to them then we have Robotality Bundle this sounds also very fun so definitely ah okay that's ah wait that's for that's a DLC for Pathway okay and then we have an interesting bundle Chucklefish and France bundle okay there you get this, this might be worth a look. So we get those games, Time Spinner also here, all together. So I already own some of those games. Bundle discount is 15%. So I get Time Spinner and Halfway together with Warcroof done for 1910. Hmm. Okay, why not? Could be interesting, could be a good price. Then we have Pixel Buddies, so Crawl, that's definitely a game that I'm going to purchase. Overwhelming positive, I mean, can't do anything wrong. Celeste as well, overwhelmingly positive. And Iconoclast is also a game that I'm going to purchase. And then we have The Messenger, and uh, then also Eagle Island, Katana Zero, so very, very popular in the pixel art game so you can't go wrong with those so definitely the chucklefish sale is my highlight uh, electronic arts coming to steam is pretty cool but it's not one of my highlights resident evil 3 also not and the playway uh, sale is not so interesting for me personally as well as i think the wire production sale of course is is a uh, is a little bit small however i mean if you just want to play a nice battle royale game then you play PUBG and you're going to be fine as well yeah I would say this weekend uh, Steam is definitely again the winner so I don't think that Epic Epic Game Store is this weekend pretty cool uh, we can we can very quickly take a little look here we are so you can get overcooked the first one for free or well, nothing special this game was out already several times uh, or you could get it already several times for free really really guys nothing important nothing special and the sale is still not bought you can still use a 10 euro uh, sale coupon from epic games but there are not many new games are coming so that's a bit sad so but i'm looking forward to uh, valhalla uh, and tony hawk's pro skater one and two uh, the remake that's definitely interesting but for the rest yeah, for the rest I would say I stick to Steam, so Steam is definitely again the winner for this week. So guys, thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, smash the like button. Maybe you want to see more videos, then sub to my channel. And of course, write something stupid in the commentary section. That's absolutely okay for me. I'm going to answer, I'm going to respond to it. I always do. Maybe not immediately, but I'm going to respond to it each of your cool comments so thank you very much for watching see you the next time bye bye